This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 18. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 11, and verse 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but when the low, with the lowly is wisdom. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kohaloyim, La Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rachako, that's Thumb, double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations towards the Akim that's pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, as well as risking their lives, as well as their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, which appear like the other nations, but subscribe to this truth to USA Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh up out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shemi Shai. I was doing a quick lesson, a quick hit on, um, basically, I saw this video, it popped up in my, my stream, you know how you get your, your suggested videos, so I just, by happenstance, clicked on it, and I watched it, and the first thing I thought immediately was, um, I thought of Esau and AKA um, Babylon the Great or America AKA Babylon the Great. You know, I thought of um, this this whore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and although the instructor, he more than likely is Jake. You know what I mean? You know, because believe it or not, you got Jake that's into guns and whatnot. You look at the two thirds of our, our our people that kill each other down left and right. You know, I was listening to um, the elder Manata Zakba. He was saying over um, the weekend. Um, like 47 people got shot in Chicago. So, um, you know, but at the same time, you know, he this man has joined onto Esau's system, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, case in point, I don't know if he was DEA or not, he said police on the shirt. So, but the point being, it made me think of the pride because you're seeing, you know, you saw how proud he was and how arrogant he is, the only train and yada, yada, yada. And he even using, using references of 50 Cent and, and Too Short. I didn't even know Too Short mentioned um, pistols. If I re recall, when I listened to Too Short, Too Short always talked about pimping a pimping a broad, <laughs> being a whoremonger. You know what I mean? He never said I'll go get the pistol. You know, said go get the strap. He so I don't know. Maybe there's some new generation shit or something. You know, I don't know. I mean, I know Too Short do a lot of things behind the scenes of music, like DJ Quick and whatnot. You know, they was pioneers and they're still in the rap game, like um, Luke. You know, uh, like uh, Uncle Luke, he he's behind the scenes of hip hop. He's he's not the face of it anymore. You know what I mean? Like the game, the game literally say he don't have to. You know what I mean? He do music no more. He didn't been in music for twenty years. When you take time to think about it, he has been in music for a long time. You know, really, you know what I mean? But that's neither here nor there. I'm digressing. The point is, um, it made me think of America. You know what I mean? This guy's pride, and then you know, like I said. Brothers often make mention of, you know, when you look at the pandemic last year as opposed to this year, you know, you had people upset and, and terrified and worried and, you know, um, trying to figure out what was going on. And then um, they opened everything back up and everybody went back to sleep. Or a majority of the people that was calling themselves being awakened or awake went back to sleep, you know. So uh, that's why when this place falls, it's going to be even ever the ever so much more harder, you know what I mean? Because, like I said, pride come before a fall. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 16. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are abomination unto him. Verse 17, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Now, it's multitude of things that the Most High said he hate. You know, six and seven are abomination, but the first one was pride. You know, the Lord hates a proud a proud person because at the end of the day, how can you be prideful? How can man boast on himself? You know what I'm saying? It tells you in scripture that uh, uh, man's do um, goings is of the Lord. You know what I mean? It tells you in scripture that the Lord orders the steps of men. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, you, you, you don't even set your course. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't set your day. You know what I mean? Uh, you had no... Um, no say so in the way you look to so how you gonna have say a uh, say so in your life. <laughs> you ever wonder what like no matter how much you try to do something when it didn't work out right, and you like I remember I used to sit and ponder that <laughs> years prior. You know, it, it's an old saying they say, uh, 
They say if you ever make want to make the most high laugh, uh, tell them your plan. You know what I mean? Like, you don't got no power. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, I got another scripture. That ain't it. So lock you. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8. I'm going to start at verse 14 because that's the point. Then thine heart be lifted up and thou forget the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt. And that's the point. You know what I mean? Um, that's relating to our people. You know what I mean? Two-thirds of our people. That's, and that's why two-thirds of our people going to get judged along with this red Hebrew Edomite because he's the epitome of pride. But, you know, two-thirds of our people are proud. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, it's a, it counts of that in the scriptures. When you have uh, Moses, I mean, not Moses, but Miriam and... Um, Aaron, you know, basically bucking up to um, Moses, you know, uh, you know, a uh, multitude of things, you know, uh, or accounts, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, you could, we couldn't even save ourselves, you know what I mean? We're in bondage today, you know what I mean? No matter how much marching and BLM organizations get started, you know what I mean? The, you know, we were brought over here and, 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 and we are looked down upon as the lowest people in this country, mm -hmm. and you still are being looked down upon and, and, and taken advantage of it to this day. So how you, as a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, how could you ever afford to be proud? Um, but because of the fact that they are of like their father, the devil, when you go into, what's that, John um, 8 and 44? You are your father the devil, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, they of they father the devil Esau, you know what I mean? And because, like I said again, he's the epitome of pride. Matter of fact, uh, I think it's right here. Lock you. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 14. Let's go on into um, Esau. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 13. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh. So when you go into who is the people on this planet that's actually calling themselves, you know, I mean, perfect example. Look at Jeff Bezos with this Blue Moon Project. Look at this guy, uh, Richard Branson, and all these different people that's, uh, well, shit, Elon Musk with the Starlink and, and Richard, uh, Richard Branson, the guy that owns Virgin Mobile, um, that basically wanted to start the, the whole, uh, um, you know, the, basically, if you got enough money, you can take a trip off into outer space and, you know, to see, you know, hey, like, <laughs> these are the people that's trying to exalt themselves above the most high, you know what I mean? You know, the, the most high ain't allowing you to literally go to the depths of the sea. So why would you think that you're about to be able to explore the space in the heavens, you know what I mean? Like, literally, like, this is not Star Trek, you know what I mean? Like, these people is literally trying to do the movie Elysium. I remember Elder Apostle Har. Tahar actually made mention of that movie, so I went and watched it. And you, you know, it is a pretty decent movie. You know what I mean? Um, you can see that they try to, um, because it's a term like they do certain, um, like with, 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 with for directors, you know, how they direct a the movie. Like you got the like the Messiah, um, not complex, but um, Messiah, M Messiah thing. Like Star Wars, you got to remember, like um, Luke Skywalker, he was considered like a, a, a like a Messiah. You know what I mean? Um, and, and that's what. Matt Damon's character was kind of sort of in um, the movie Elysium because he's, he basically saved those people. And then he ended up losing his life in the process of it. So, you know, just go check it out, though. It's a deep movie. But this is what, 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 what their, their, their imaginations is. They want to literally, and if they corrupted this planet, how much more so, you know what I mean? Come on, these people, I did a video on it. They, the, they literally got all kind of space junk debris like tons of this shit in outer space that's just floating and they told me it may hit the earth one day all this whole shit you know what i mean that's a childlike mentality you creating shit you ever seen a, cow, a child you, you give them something to play with and then they make a huge mess but don't want to clean the shit up that, that's why it talks about in the scriptures he that is younger than thee have thee in derision you know what i'm saying like this man is a fucking kid you know what I'm saying? That's why he likes to do all this bungee jumping and rock climbing and all, <laughs> all this dangerous shit. A childlike mentality. Uh, it says, I will sit upon the mount of, of the congregation in the sides of the north. Verse 14, I will ascend above the, 
I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. And that's what his mindset is. He he, he wants to be exalted um, like the most high. You know what I mean? That's why, like right now, I'm in a situation. This man can literally know exactly where I'm at. You know what I mean? And I'm like, damn, you know, that's like trying to be an omnipotent. <laughs> he trying to be omnipotent. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is uh, the words of the Lord said. The Lord came again unto me, saying, um, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrese, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because thy heart is lifted up. There's go that pride again. And this is going into the uh, modern prince of Tyrese, which is the red Hebrew Edomite. Because, like, basically, this was directed to that prince at that time, but, you know, things reincarnate, and, you know, uh, sometimes scriptures be double fold, two fold. So this now is basically, because uh, this, that the Isaiah 14 is a, this is a precept to that. I sit in the seat of Yahweh in the midst of the seas, men in the midst of the people, in the middle of the people, yet thou art a man and not a power. Because in Esau's mind, he thinks he's a power, but he's not a power. You know, at the end of the day, the scripture says he's the base, is man on the planet. It tells you uh, uh, about a base man, you know what I mean? It tells you in scripture in the book of Daniel about uh, most high ruler in the kingdom of man and give it to whomever he will. The basis of man. I think it's in the book of Job, chapter 30. It calls Esau a base man, meaning a low man. You got to remember, these people literally had no culture. You know what I mean? They had no civilization. And want to know how you know that's the truth? Because to prove that they don't got no culture, that's why they steal everybody else's culture. Because they didn't have one. It says, uh, though thou set their heart as the heart of Yahweh, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten the riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasure. And these are the things that make one oneself proud and, and and push along pride. And that's why you see these athletes and entertainers and, and superstars and, and, and whatnot that look at their attitude. You rarely catch a humble um, entertainer that got money. Now, don't get me wrong. Every once in a while, you'll see a certain situation like that guy, Keanu Reeves. Which I believe they, um, the elder said he might be Jake, but you know I literally they had footage of him. He literally um, got up out of his seat to let uh, 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 I think a female sit down. You know, and, and you know that ain't no super duper thing, but at the same time, uh, you know, they just you gotta you got people that's actually been on TV. I've met newscasters and news anchors that's proud as fuck, and they not even real entertainers. You get what I'm saying? They not on a mega. They ain't on a Will Smith level or even Will Smith's white Jada Pinkett level. You just a fucking local newscaster, <laughs> but proud of the motherfuckers you on TV. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that guy up uh, Adam Sadler, like uh, like you got celebrities. They go into a restaurant and think they they supposed to take precedence over the people that was already waiting in line or whatnot. They use that, but um, I know recently they were saying Adam Sadler literally. Um, he didn't try to do that, you know what I mean? He just literally he went in with his daughter, and literally there was like, it's a wait, like an hour wait. You wait an hour for fucking to go eat at IHOP. <laughs> like, oh, like, fuck, this place is done. Like I said, at the end, they, not to digress, but like I said, the point was, this man is lifted up because of his pride, and our people are going to suffer with them because, you know, like I said, at the end, of the day, they are, because uh, it tells you in the scriptures, um, in the book of Sirach, uh, chapter 10 about how um, the judge of the city is so are the people so if Esau is the ruler of this place and he's proud arrogant a base man why wouldn't our people be base because Esau is the real creator of niggas when you go back to the 30s and whatnot, you had Jake wasn't as fucked up as he is nowadays you know what I mean like so Esau is the creator of niggas for real you know what I mean with that whole mindset, uh, let me get, I'm about to try and blow through this real quick now. Because a lot of these scriptures are just going on pride, but I ain't going to get them all. This is the uh, book of Psalms, chapter 31, verse 23, Salakia. This is Psalms 31, verse 23. O oh Lord, Salakia, O oh love the Lord, Yahweh. Why Yahweh shot all ye his saints? For the Lord Yahweh preserveth the faithful and plentifully rewardeth the, the proud doer. So meaning he's going to recompense those that have that pride. Then Esau is going to be repaid. You know, that's what the Lord Yahweh Shah HaMashiach is coming back to, to, with, with, a, with a judgment for Esau Edom. You know, for these two-thirds and the rest of these heathen nations, but 
first and foremost for Esau Edom. You know what I mean? That's why we and and and, and call her lawyer like Yahweh Shem Yahshua that you are of the generation to see this. Come on, I grew up when they didn't you'd have had people never believing that we'd be living in America and America would look like this. Never in a million years. Uh I read 73. It's a lot of uh proverbs. Sixty, verse nine. I don't know why I got that. Uh, so lucky. The book of Isaiah, chapter two, verse twelve. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought low. And and again, like I say, and that's what Yahweh by Hashem is sending our Lord and Savior back to do, to bring judgment. You know what I mean? Right now, uh, brother was just speaking on how there's so much division in America. And when you read the scriptures um, in the book of Luke and the book of Matthew, it talks about how... Um, Basically, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is coming back to bring division. So when you got division like that, that's usually of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Uh, so lucky. Got a lot going on, you know how that be. <laughs> but um uh, continuing. Um so lucky. I only I ain't gonna, it's, I had way more scriptures, but I'm gonna wrap this up now. I got like two more scriptures. Uh, it's the book of Malachi, chapter one, um, start at verse two. Um, well, no, I'm gonna start at verse four. No, I'm gonna start at verse, um, Two, it says, I have loved you, saith the Lord Yahweh, while Yahweh shall yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau, Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, yet I loved Jacob? Verse 3, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage to waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And you watching the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh throw this place, America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, down day by day. I mean, this place has never been this low, like I said, and it's never been that great. <laughs> maybe for these red Hebrew Edomites, maybe for these heathen ass nations, but it's never been great for um, Jake, the so-called black Hispanic Native American, similar Indian, West Indian, and Haitian. And, and you know, because you, you may have a few of our people that escape through the cracks. You got George Lopez's and some of these, you know, uh, Northern Kingdom boxers and whatnot. But for the most part, majority of our people are destroyed. You might have a few that slip through the cracks and join on the Esau system. But it tells you it's a, a reward and a recompense for that as well. Well, like I said, in the midst of them trying to build back up, th this place is being torn down. You know, and, and, and you know, the elder Makamo was speaking on, you know, the Lord is doing so much stuff in duality and balance. Like they was talking about how they're trying to um, deport 45 of those. Um, they want to call them African Hebrew Israelites. or You know, the 45 of them Israelites that's over in, in the land and um, in, in the Holy Land. But he said like a couple of days later, uh, it was like 45 Israelis, um, those Khazars, those fake Jews, they got killed. Like right, like a day or two later, you know. Man, and, uh, like I said, the, the brother uh, that we affectionately call Saint Benji, <laughs> he was speaking on the same thing. You got people that's literally phone a mask. You got people that's against the mask. It's like duality. You got people that's hurting people because they don't want to wear the mask. You got people that's hurting people because they're not wearing the mask. Yeah, so the Lord is cold with this thing. So, and all is more to come. You know what I mean? The brother from Las Vegas, Karataza, I believe his name is. If I'm butchering the brother's name, Salaki, but that's why I always usually just say if they're ahead of a cap or whatnot, because sometimes, you know, it'd be difficult 
for you to pronounce brothers' names unless you get accustomed to it. That's why I ask to know what the name means. That's the beautiful thing about a Hebrew name. It has a meaning. You know, it ain't just so empty ass. Hey, you know what I mean? It's, it, it has a meaning. You know what I mean? But anyhow, uh, he was breaking out about Mother's Day. Mother's Day was just Sunday. And he was like, uh, it was like 10 mass shootings. Not just regular shootings, mass shootings. You know what I mean? Um, I know I was going to do a video on it. It was an incident where a, a, a Jake got into it on um, Mother's Day. It was like a domestic violence issue where, you know what I mean, nine times out of ten, he the father, and I guess he tried to grab the child, but in the midst of him grabbing the child, the child got hurt. It is just, you know what I mean, all because of that fucking wicked ass day. And it tells you in the book of Amos chapter 5 about how the Most High despises these feast days. And that should be a clear court example of all the mass shootings on Mother's Day. <laughs> a pagan ass Simiram is really Simiramis Day if you any if you aware. But because a woman want to be lifted up. You know, it was a, it's a female, um, got a YouTube channel. I can't pr pronounce her name, but her, her the title of her, her channel is Submit, um, Submissive wife you know what i mean and she was saying basically the number one reason why women don't want to actually submit to the men is because of the fact that literally they upset or don't want because they don't think that it's gonna go the way that they want it not understanding that men are usually pro that's why men are looked at as providers you know what i mean i mean look like if you ever go watch that movie fences they said you know it, it's a scene in there where basically he had another woman and he didn't give a fuck about taking care of his family. Like, he would be broke. That's what made him happy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and, 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 so, me and most men have a mindset. It, ain't, it don't take too much to please a, a, a man. Women are the ones that's more difficult to please. Because you can be giving her the D, but yet it's still, that's not good enough because you're not giving her no money. You can be giving her all the money, but you ain't giving her the D she want. You know what I mean? Nine times out of ten, most women is going to look back to this place like, like Lot's wife did. And then that's when the Lord really, you really got to lock in now because for a person that's not locked in, they going to look back with her. But Salakia, um, this is, I didn't mean to digress. I might name this a various topics as well. Uh, and, um, I'm going to end it on this scripture because like I said, the point was all the people, uh, like the people, our people that is joined on to him have a recompense, you know what I mean? They have a judgment. And this is the book of Isaiah chapter 13. If you've ever, ever read it, I suggest you do so. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 11. Isaiah 13 and 11. I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the hauntiness of the terrible. And there we go again, going back to those words, pride and haunty here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, like I said, with what all is going on in America, how the fuck can you possibly still be proud? And that's just showing you when the Lord judges this place, it deserves whatever judgment the Lord is going to bring. And it's going to be a terrible judgment, too. You know, and that's going to, I mean, the Lord justify it anyway, but that's going to, like I said, the Lord, that's why he sends our prophets. That's why he probably did it the way he did it, you know, Hoping some will come back, but the, it ain't hoping some will come back because he know who's gonna come back and who not. You know, the thing is, he opened it, uh, he shut it down, then opened it back up, and people act like as if like we was never locked down. So when the Lord, like 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 um the brother Bakor Moth was speaking on yesterday, he was like, say for instance, you sitting up there and dealing with Mike Tyson, and he keep on um throwing a punch, but before he hit you, he pull back. You know what I'm saying? Now, you're constantly doing this. Bow, bow, bow. So, you, it's, it's, it's putting, in your mind, you thinking because he's constantly pulling it back, oh, he ain't going to hit me. But wait until that time where he actually hit your ass. And that's what the Lord about to do to AKA America. This is um, verse 12. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And, you know, um, when you go into Ophir, Ophir was a place um, that actually had some of the best gold, you know, um, the purest, richest, finest gold. Um, verse 13, therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place and in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. 
Verse 14, and it shall be as a chase rope and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn, his own, turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. And we approaching them times uh, speedily because you're coming into them times where because America is a melting pot. Just like ancient Rome was, and that's why it makes so much sense when the elders break down about reincarnation and these, these same people. I got a book called The Roman Empire of the Edomite. That's one beautiful thing about the elder Malcolm, because as gifted as he is as a warrior, he's also a very learned man. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that's where I got the knowledge about this book. And it literally goes into Rome being founded by such and such, you know. Uh, and yada 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 and how they trace their history back to Esau Edom flat out and and, and it's just like with the with the Zondervan Van, uh, Zondervan um, Bible Dictionary it literally tells you that the Negro is not of Ham but then they still try to say you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so at the end of the day that's what we're living in a time where lies are being exposed and that's what, what makes the truth so beautiful because at the end of the day what scriptures say, it say, uh, um, then you should know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Um, verse 15, and everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone that is joined onto them shall fall by the sword. And that's going to two thirds of our people. Once this go down, you know, because you're going to have two thirds of our people. You got to remember, you got two thirds of our people that's conditioned to, to be that way. You know what I mean? You got to remember, when, if you ever go into actually understanding and reading the Willie Lynch letter, it... Basically, you know, it was a statement that he made. He said, basically, after we do this, he said, it's going to take a divine intervention for them to actually escape this. And you're seeing that divine intervention now because basically he changed the mentality. <laughs> you know what I mean? He changed, that's why our people are, um, when it talks about the curses in the scriptures about um, his eye shall be evil to his neighbor, meaning his brother. You know what I mean? That's why our people are conditioned to say, fuck you, but to bow down to Edomite or, you know, you know what I mean? Two third niggas I know that are really be looking at their brother with hate, but then literally like, oh yeah, because they thinking E got some money or, you know what I mean? It's just, it's fucked up. But you seeing that, um, that divine intervention, intervention take place today with the awakening of, um, you know, the, the, the brotherhood, you know what I mean? Coming back to the law, statutes, commandments, coming back to their true heritage. What's that, Ezekiel chapter 38, the dry bones? I don't want to quote nothing and be wrong, so I'm going to just check that real quick. And then I'm going to end the lesson. So lock it, where is that at? Is that Ezekiel? I think it's 37. Yes, Ezekiel chapter 37, Salakia for that, about the Valley of the Dry Bones. You know, I was just reading that um, from Babylon to Timbuktu, you know what I mean? Even, you know, people have known, the, you, you got Edomites that understand that. Like, come on, it ain't Esau don't know the Bible. He's choosing to give you his interpretation of it because with knowledge is power. If you knew that you was them people, that would exhume some kind of pride. But you know what I mean? Like how Paul said, you know, to boast in certain things, he said, I, I boast in my infirmities. You know what I'm saying? Because he's doing this for Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. He was taking that, that beating as a man for Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. So, um, if you're a so called black, Hispanic, Native American, a Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws, to the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. If not, thou shalt be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Koh Haloyim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rachakotus Wakatham. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and sincerity, as well as wasting their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwaf and the Akim out there listening and learning. Laura, willingly, this was an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, which appear like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Until next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom, and Mawath Labobah. Shalom.